In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together this Room Essentials five shelf bookcase. It's pretty simple, but if you didn't know, hopefully this video helps. First thing I do is I take everything out of the box and make sure I have all the pieces, and then I read the instructions. But you might not need instructions because you got this video. I'm gonna put aside all these pieces because these are the shelves, these go on last. This thin piece is the backing, bag of hardware, instructions. Read them if you want. First thing I'm gonna do is install all the wooden dowels. There's 12 of them in total. And two of the pieces that look like shelves, or I guess they are shelves, but two of them will have one, two, three, four holes on each side. So I have those right here. And then these two pieces, one side, the same, four holes. And then these two pieces, one side will have four holes. And then the other side has nothing, like that. So I'm gonna put them like this. And these dowels go in these holes right here, the ones that are not connected to this hole. I'll put one there and one right here. And then I hammer those in. If you really wanted to, you could put some glue in here. This one. Now on these, you put the dowels in the innermost holes on this one. So right here and right here. around, do the same thing over here. Next you want to take these pieces, these are called cams. They're part of a cam lock system. To install these, they go right here in these bigger holes. And this open part is gonna face towards where you just put the dowels in. Just like that. From there, open part facing this edge, that, same thing on these ones. Now I'm gonna take one of these, so you just put the dowels in, and I'm gonna take these two, and I want to put this, there's a seam right here, put it down like this, I'm just gonna lay it for now. And then the opposite one goes like this. And then this piece is gonna go like this with the seam right here. And the dowels are gonna go into those holes like that. And then on this side, like that. Now I'll turn this just so you can see. You have two holes exposed right here. And that's where you're gonna install these screws. And you can use just a regular screwdriver. If you have a drill, it's even better, which is what I'm gonna do. You don't have to tighten it too, too much. Just get it snug. And while you're here, you can take the stickers that come with this and put them right over the screw heads. And that'll cover it up. I'll put these screws in. And the stickers. Now we can put this off to the side for now. And I wanna grab this other piece that you put the dowels in. And then these two pieces right here. These have two holes for the screws on the outside, and then they have all of the adjustable shelving places for the pins right here. We're basically gonna do the same thing with these. So the seam goes right here, and then line this up, the dowels. We can 
put those screws in. You want to start them by hand before you start drilling them in there. Make sure they catch. You could also put these on at the end if you wanted to. Up to you. Or not put them in at all. Now I can spin this around and then I'm going to take this piece. I want the finished edge to face down like this. You can see where the screws go on this side. We're going to put those same screws in here. I have to wiggle it around to get them started. And you can tighten them. And you don't have to put stickers on these ones because they're going to be hidden. Now I'm going to take these dowels. These are part of the cam locking system. These are going to go right here on the outer, in the outermost hole here and here. And those I would suggest to tighten just with a hand screwdriver so you don't mess anything up. Going nice and easy. Push this back so I have enough space. And then I'm going to take the other piece that we assembled and connect them together. These dowels go in here, and then these ones go in here. So I'm going to line them up. And they're going to go just like that. And I'll get the other side in first. this one. Okay. Now you can tighten these. You want to first make sure they're tight. My floor is a little out of level, so that's going to be a little tricky. And then you take your screwdriver and just do a turn like this. You'll feel it lock and actually see it tighten. Just like that. Don't go too crazy with that, or you'll break something. Same thing on this one. Just as you feel it lock in, you'll be good. So now, something that I'm actually not going to do for this unit, because I'm doing something a little unique with it, um, but the next step would be to put the backer on. You put it on just like this the unfinished side like this and you line it up and put it half on here like this. This comes with two bags of nails and you would just put them every couple of inches, spread them out evenly however you can and this will hold everything together. What you should do before you put that backer on is square this uh, and the way to do that is to hook onto one corner here and measure to the other corner. This is 75 and a quarter. And then hook on the other corner, and go to the same spot over here and make sure it's the same, 75 and a quarter. If it's not the same, you might have to shift this around, have somebody hold one end or put it up against the wall and kind of pull this to get it to be square before you put the back on. That's the best thing to do anyways. Um, that'll make sure that this is square and when you put it on the ground, it won't be at an angle or anything like that. Now this plastic piece right here is actually a little nail holder because these nails are pretty small. So you use this to attach the backing just like this so you don't hammer your fingers. And then once it gets halfway in, you can hammer it the rest of the way. And these little washers right here, you use these with a nail to 
go in the middle where those two panels intersect and this will hold both sides down instead of having to put one nail on one side and only having a tiny bit of material you can put these in the center of that shelf and the rest of this stuff i'm going to put the shelves into place and i'll show you what all this stuff is for this is an important piece to this shelf this is an anti-tip bracket so what you need to do is put it somewhere attaching this bookcase to the wall right in the middle on the top is preferable um, or wherever you can get into a stud you have this two and a quarter inch screw and if you can't hit a stud you don't know where a stud is they give you the, this toggle so you just drill the size of this toggle or a little smaller put this in and then screw this into the wall and then there's two screws two tiny screws that go into the bookcase itself that go in like this i'd put one about here and one closer in here so something like that and you just take these tiny little pegs and put them wherever you want the shelves these come with three shelves so place these accordingly space them out however you need for what you need and if you get lost you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine it goes here Do the same thing over here these grooves right here are where those pegs sit and the unfinished side goes towards the back just drop them on and make sure they sit in there good so this is what i ended up doing in my little stairwell area i bought three of these units as you saw i left the backing off but I did put some clips that attached these to the walls. You definitely need something, and I recommend the backing, especially if you're doing one or two units and doing it the traditional way, because if you don't have that backing, these will rack, the shelves will fall out, they'll just fall apart. So you definitely need that. I used the shelves from the extra unit that I bought to fill in here to give myself more than just three shelves per unit, which is what they come with. And then I actually cut like the sides here and did a shelf here and did a shelf over here. And I also made this little thing right here to organize all my batteries and stuff. So that's what I did. But if you just needed to put one together the normal way, one or two units, whatever the case, I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.